Hello mathematics students. This is the tutorial for week 3 where we will be doing more straight line concepts problems. Primarily this is the syllabus that's being covered here. Let's begin with our first question. There is a company with two kinds of equipment A and B. They have work lives of three years and four years respectively. So work life of A is let's call it WA is 3 WB is 4 years. Further, the values of equipment A and B decrease yearly according to these equations. So these are our equations where VA is supposed to be the value of A and VB is supposed to be the value of B in thousands respectively. And X is the number of years for which that value is applicable. So what are the costs of the equipment? So the costs of the equipment would be the VA and VB values when X is equal to 0. That is when you just bought it, what is the value of the equipment? So we just take X is equal to 0 and from this we get 12.5 VA minus 62.5 is equal to 0. This would give us VA is equal to. To indicate that this is at the initial time, I am going to make it A0, VA0. So yeah, this is VA0 and that is 62.5 divided by 12.5. Five, which is equal to 5. Therefore, the cost of A, I'll call it CA, is rupees 5,000. Now, let's work with B. Same thing again, we take X is equal to 0. So, we have 12VB minus 72 is equal to 0. This would imply VB again I am calling this VB naught to indicate the initial cost. That would be 72 divided by 12 which is equal to 6. So CB the cost of B is rupees 6000. Going further we are asked what are the yearly depreciations of the two equipments. So yearly depreciation basically means how much value is decreasing each year. So let's look at that. Here in this case, X is number of years, whereas Y is the value. So what is being asked in an yearly depreciation is the change in y for a unit change in x, which is basically just the slope. Because slope is change in y, delta y, by change in x. So when delta x is equal to 1, delta y is equal to the slope. So we can find this by just finding the slope for each of those two linear equations and for the slope we convert our equations to the y is equal to mx plus c form then the m is going to be the slope so one equation is 5x plus 12.5 va minus 62.5 is equal to 0 this would indicate that 12.5 VA is equal to minus 5X plus 62.5. Going further then, we have VA is equal to minus 5 by 12.5 X plus 62.5 by 12.5. We had already seen it to be equal to 5. So that is equal to minus 0.4x plus 5. This is VA. So here we are. Our 
m in the equation is basically minus 0.4. So, this is the reduction in one year minus 0.4 thousand because we are taking everything in thousands. So, that is basically minus 400. So, this is the depreciation. 400 is the depreciation every year for the company 1. We can also verify this by looking at the values of VA for year 1. So, when x is equal to 1, we have 5 plus 12.5 VA minus 62.5 is equal to 0. This gives us VA is equal to 57.5 by 12.5 which is equal to 4.6. So, VA was originally 5. That means it was originally 5000 rupees and after one year it became 4.6 which is 4600 rupees. So, the difference is 400 rupees. So, that is the yearly depreciation for the first equipment. Now, let us look at the second equipment. Our second equipment, the equation was 6s plus 12vb minus 72 is equal to 0. Again, if we put this into the y is equal to mx plus c form, the slope intercept form, we will be getting first we have to do 12v is equal to minus 6x minus plus 72. This indicates vb is equal to minus 0.5x plus 6. Thus, minus 0.5 is the slope here, which means 500 rupees is the yearly depreciation. In the last part, it is said that the company will buy back the equipment after its work life. And Vijay has a requirement of such equipment for 12 years. Which kind of equipment will cost him lesser? So, in the case of the first equipment, let us call it case A. And here let us have case B to consider. And in case A, the initial cost was 5000 rupees. And each year there is a decrease of 400 rupees. So, in first year, we lose this much. In the second year, we lose another 400 rupees. And at the end of the third year, there is a loss of another 400 rupees. And we are aware that 3 years is the work life for A, whereas for B it was 4 years. This is to say that at the end of 3 years, the value of the machine is 3800 rupees. So, if now Vijay buys the equipment afresh, then and the company is buying back this 3800. All that Vijay needs to spend now is rupees 1200. And this way he gets an additional 3 years. So with 5000 he got 3 years and now another 3 years this way. So in order to get 12 years with equipment A, the total money that Vijay will require to spend is 5000 which is the initial first 3 years and from then on 3 years plus 3 years plus 3 years because it's totally 12 years so 3 times 1200 that is rupees 8600 in case of a whereas in b b is more expensive so we have 6000 
and every year there is a loss of 500 rupees in value and this is required to be done four times because the work life for b is four times so we are effectively subtracting 2000 rupees from the original value so we have 4000 at the end of it which means for the first four years there is an expenditure of 6000 but then for the remaining eight years there has been only 2000 each this is so because the products value is already 4000 rupees and in order to get a new version of equipment b vijay only has to spend 2000 rupees so total expenditure in this case is going to be 10000 rupees because 6000 plus 2000 plus 2000 here we are not supposed to forget one thing though that is at the end of after these three years three years pass at the end of 12 years he can sell it off for 3800 so we are supposed to further subtract 3800 here and likewise here he can sell it off for 4000 so here we get rupees 4800 whereas here we get rupees 6000 so the expenditure is clearly lesser for a so a would be the good choice for vijay